guys, it's Queen DJ, and in today's video, I will be reacting to to episode 17 and 18 of Sounds of Life. So let's go ahead and get started in 3, 2, 1, go. <laughs> This episode will focus a little bit on the hero, but no, what's the baby? No, because okay, this is the episode where Jose is going to find out that the music that. Oh, this is gonna hurt for her. Ugh. Is this gonna make me cry today? I mean, I've already cried about my very YouTube retirement video. Mm, okay, I did that. Because mm -hmm. not everything's forever. I'll be alone again. I mean, that is her biggest fear, honestly, at the end of the day. But I feel like because of the fact is um, Kareta and Kiro both graduating, if they don't get this, this is going to be something that is really going to fuck up the dynamic of this group. But, I mean, I don't think that's going to happen. They're going to try their hardest, including Rosaki. She is going to try her damn hardest to get to nationals because it's Kareta's dream. This is his last chance to really just make a moment. It's like basically with the, last, the second season of Samuborium and how at season one, everybody was just all like this. and Or like with Love Live, Sunshine, and the fact is, yes, season one, they didn't do the best. And then you get to season two and they do a little bit better. And you're just like, hmm, that's why they had that ish in season one. That's why they needed that. They needed to lose in order to become stronger. But I don't know. I want to be positive for them. I truly do because this is something that they all want at the end of the day. And they're going to get it. But it just it takes time. And at the same time, it's just like, do you even have time? Do you have enough? I mean, still, like, kiddo, she's depressed about what the ish happened last week. And I'm still dead hurt about that. And I feel so bad for her because she's so precious. And I love her as a character. And she deserves the freaking world. And I don't like her former friends either. I'm just saying. That's just me. And I need them to freaking confess to the fact that they like each other. Please. Because <laughs> I'm almost done with this show. I mean, I get it. If she tells him now, it's going to be, like, the biggest distraction on her mind. But even with the fact that she's not saying anything, it's still on her mind. get that because she's like yes I have a chance
<laughs> Are you sure about that? No, you can do it. Jesus, like, oh, just once he had it in his head, he said something. The blood was rushing out of her. She was going pale. Yes, it can. You can do this. You're literally going to have them all. Because he is. He shines out of all of them. Just how Jose he shines out of all of you. You were naturally drawn to it, just like anyone else. Okay, now, let's see yours. So you basically want something like that for this group, whether or not, like, in a certain order, so that Hoseki, Kodata, or anyone who has the solo can shine. See, the biggest question is can Hoseki put something, her feelings, and differences aside just to play this? Can she muster up the courage and just be like, fuck it, let's just do it? Because I know she can. It's just right now she doesn't seem she can. Your strawberry roll. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> 
so because of the fact that she couldn't smell, blame herself still. Mm -hmm. That you were trying to do everything in your power to just bring your mom back to life. Tell your future boyfriend. Please. It's not only the hurt, the sadness, but just the wanting to belong to someone. Just that bringing someone together. That's what you can just hear from the first few minutes of that piece. Only took one talk with your boyfriend to figure out what you want to do. <sighs> Thank God I didn't take the whole freaking episode because I think that probably would have stretched it out a little too much. Because sometimes you don't really need it to be a whole span of one going on two episodes. Sometimes you just need it for a couple minutes and then be smart about it and just move on. Oh. <laughs> oh. Oh, guys. Yes, you can. You're probably going to make me cry, too. just to get the feelings and then cry and such, but it's going to be different for me. You already done? I mean, seriously, Did you have time? Sir? The more and more I watch the show, the more and more I just get hot for the teacher. It's good, isn't it? Mm. <laughs> so basically about 17 strings are going to be like the solo performance of it. But it's completely different. <laughs> Bless you. Yeah, not the other way around. <laughs>
Well, what if we just name it Sounds of Life? TV show. Bam. Just to bring it all together, I'm just saying. No. <laughs> Do not skip class, please. Are you going to see your mom? You are Frederick. So somebody has to take over, you know. be rude if you didn't invite her in. <laughs> you just want to get closer, don't you? I honestly thought she didn't want to. She wasn't going to say anything. Yeah, she's not talking to you. Not to be rude, just saying, I mean... It's more than a school to her. It's more than a club to her. But then what are you going to buy? I don't 
trust her. She's too corrupt. This is what Hosuki used to be like before, you know, finally seeing the light. Honestly. That was a sweet episode, but honestly, like, just the moment between Ozuki and her mom, I didn't think it was going to go like that. I really was assuming that once um, Akira and her grandmother let her in, and when her mom saw her, and Ozuki was going to say something to her mother, that her mom honestly really wasn't going to say anything to her after all, at all. I mean, when you're excommunicated and exiled from, you know, someone as big as a family like this, and you're trying to possibly maybe work your way back into it, 50 out of 50, the cards aren't going to be in your favor, and possibly no one is really going to want to talk to you. It's like when you screw someone over, and then you decide to come back into their life, and you're begging and asking for forgiveness, and some people will forgive you in that family, while others won't. And it feels like, as of right now, like her mother, the little chips, like that little wall of being chips, just a little teeny tiny bit. But there's going to be a moment where I think possibly by the end of this series, her mom is going to welcome her back with open arms. Maybe. I'm not 100% sure, but we're going to know. What's up? <laughs> nope. Okay. But nope. yeah. That's what I think. Nope. She doesn't really think that's going to happen, but. Yep. I mean, she's not watching the show. <laughs> Hi. Cody even agrees. Oh, Jesus. Oh. Hey. Everybody calm down. Mommy, what are you doing? No, acting natural. Go. Oh my God, what you doing? Go. <laughs> you and him. Come to get the puppy. Take the puppy. That's fine. <laughs> Go ahead and take him. Okay, but it seems like, okay, but Hosuki and Akita's relationship, of course, from what they've shown. Alright, I'm sorry. It seems like Hosuki and Akita, of course, have this interesting relationship that is complicated, possibly. I don't really know. We're going to know in the next episode, maybe, if they want to go into that, but... We'll find out in one minute. Go ahead and pause the video, and I'll see you guys in one second for episode 18. Hey guys, it's Queen DJ, and in today's video, I will be reacting to to episode 17 and 18 of Sounds of Life. So let's go ahead and get started in 3, 2, 1, go. <laughs> Hello. 
Was this episode would focus a little bit on the hero, but no, it was a baby. No, because, okay, this is the episode where Hosey is going to find out that the music that they yeah. Oh, this is gonna hurt for her. Ugh. Is this gonna make me cry today? I mean, I've already cried about my very YouTube retirement video. Mm, okay, I get that. Because mm -hmm. not everything's forever. I'll be alone again. I mean, that is her biggest fear, honestly, at the end of the day. But I feel like because of the fact is um, Kareta and Kiro both graduating, if they don't get this, this is going to be something that is really going to fuck up the dynamic of this group. But, I mean, I don't think that's going to happen. They're going to try their hardest, including Rosaki. She is going to try her damn hardest to get to nationals because it's Kareta's dream. This is his last chance to really just make a moment. It's like basically with the, last, the second season of Samuborium and how at season one, everybody was just all like this. and Or like with Love Live, Sunshine, and the fact is, yes, season one, they didn't do the best. And then you get to season two and they do a little bit better. And you're just like, hmm, that's why they had that ish in season one. That's why they needed that. They needed to lose in order to become stronger. But I don't know. I want to be positive for them. I truly do because this is something that they all want at the end of the day. And they're going to get it. But it just, it takes time. And at the same time, it's just like, do you even have time? Do you have enough? I mean, still, like, kiddo, she's depressed about what the ish happened last week. And I'm still dead hurt about that. And I feel so bad for her because she's so precious. My lover as a character. And she deserves the freaking world. And I don't like her former friends either. I'm just saying. That's just me. And I need them to freaking confess to the fact that they like each other. Please. <laughs> I'm almost done with this show. I mean, I get it. If she tells him now, it's going to be, like, the biggest distraction on her mind. But even with the fact that she's just not saying anything, it's still on her mind. at that because she's like yes I have a chance Are you sure about that? <laughs> mm. 
No, you can do it. Jesus, like, oh, just once he had it in his hand, he said something. The blood was rushing out of her. She was going pale. Yes, it can. You can do this. You're literally going to have them all. Because he is. He shines out of all of them. Just how Hoseki shines out of all of you. You were naturally drawn to it, just like everyone else. Okay, now, let's see yours. Okay, episode 18 and 3, 2, 1. We're not going to talk about what happened a couple of minutes ago. I already cut it out of the video. You don't know. I know. But we ain't going to talk about it. It'll be in the comment. It'll just, that's it. But I ain't talking about it. Okay? Thank you. Oh. <laughs> no, it's cute. <laughs> yeah. But the meaning is different. Mm -hmm. So that's still after you guys cry together and come together. When they're happy, when they're angry. Because, yeah, sometimes you need an angry cry, too. Come here, Cody. Come here. You okay? All right. Go play, please. I still want to know what is the connection between those two. I mean, hopefully this episode answers it, but I mean, at the same time, it probably could be maybe in the only Cody. No, All right. I got you. You're, you're okay. You're okay. Feel better now?
So that's not her. That, uh, that's not cute. That makes sense. Oh my god. Kittle. Ah! I'm not bad. I'm happy that you guys are close. Yeah, but you like that about him. Uh, Hito is every female when they're around their crush. <laughs> Just be like, ooh, I can watch that back all day, every day. Uh -huh. What do you want? Mm -hmm. Susie, you're okay with this? You can't be serious, are you? A bitch, that's what she is. But why out of all people, her? Why is it her? We know that there's something, a, a situation between these two, but seriously. But that's not fair, though. I don't like her aura. And the girl's been surrounded in darkness ever since that day she played that piece.
she's a bitch. That's exactly what she did. I really don't like her. Makes your skin crawl. You don't have to do this by yourself either. So just, you can still call her a bitch in your head, just, It pains me that there are people in the world who are exactly like her. Yeah, it doesn't sound to cut it together.
Don't be a dick, please. I know I don't like her either, but please don't. You're fine, baby. I'm almost done. I got like eight minutes left and then I'm all yours. No, Cody. Cody, stop. Can it really turn up boxes, right? Yeah, so don't ever think that. You guys are always third wheel in these two. And they're getting a lot better than the way Akita was trying. Mm -hmm. 
that right there, that's the fighting word. Like, even though he ain't say nothing, he just believed it. We got Chica! Oh, I This will come into terms with it. Why are you doing it though? Why do you want to get close to her after all this time? No, that's maybe your second reason, but not seeing the light. Ever since that day, you know, I was like, you played that song for you and everyone else. You've been clouded in darkness. And I'm guessing Hosekis, you know, with this new performance of this rendition of this song, it's a possibility that she'll be able to see the light after this. I'm not 100% sure. It's interesting with this episode. I still don't like her as a character. She is a really bitchy character to me, but she's not like typical when you see and like live action TV shows, scripted shows, and sometimes even reality TV shows. Bitchy characters are stuck up. She doesn't seem that stuck up to me. There's times where it looks like she's like, yeah, my shit is better than yours, and I'm always going to be better than you no matter what. But it's just. She has a little bit of arrogance to her, and it's just because of the fact is, ever since that day that Hoseki played this piece, she's been clouded in darkness ever since. I feel like there's a lot more of an understanding towards her. I'm not 100% sure. I mean, we're going to know it's the next two episodes when I watch them this weekend or next week. But she's interesting, though. Just don't like her. It, it just, I'm, the vibes that she's giving me. And, but the fact is, Chica. Fucking Chica. Like, out of all the characters, do that, Chica. That was some fight and words. Without even saying something. Playing some music and playing it the correct way of knowing the basics that because they played it for such so long and that he knew exactly what the fuck to do. Beautiful. Oh, I can't. <laughs> like, he was just like, you know what? I mean, that was a fuck you to the face, honestly, in my opinion. Okay, so it seems like in the next episode we're going to get her backstory, which is good. Because now we can see why what basically led up to her being the way she is now. Because it seems like before she she was seen in the light. And I'm, I'm guessing, as I said, because of Hosuki's performance, she's clouded in darkness. And it's only gonna be because of Hosuki's new performance of this rendition of this song. That's like I said, she's gonna finally see the light. Who honestly really knows? We ain't really gonna know until next week. But I, I hope with the situation of Kenita and Hiro, that gets solved soon because we're almost done with this damn show. And I really have no fucking clue how the hell this is going to end. But other than that, guys, that is my reaction view towards episode 17 and 18 of Sounds of Life. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day. Join the Marshall Squad. And of course, I will see you guys officially all next Friday for Patreons and next Tuesday for everybody else for episodes 19 and 20. Bye, guys.